Hello. What are you doing? What? Why are you all the way back there? Ah, something different. They can't hear you. This is a close range mic. What? Well, they should just come closer to their screens. Oh my god. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. You follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe if you like. Button. Two million video. You know what we should do? What? We should recreate the water well scene in Bandit Queen. No. <laughs> uh, today we have a stand-up comedy. Yes. And Make me laugh. Varun Dakur. Dakur. Who we have seen? Indian Chinese is what this one's called. Uh, on the occasion of 420, 420, Vern talks about his favorite munchies. Nice. Uh, and we've seen, a, 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 I think, one or two stand-ups from him before. What is the origin of 420, by the way? Well, there's a couple different theories. Somebody, Some thought it was Hitler's birthday. Uh, what why? the freak would that have to do with getting stoned? Don't, uh, don't ask me. But in, so we'll throw that on one in, way. In middle school, that's what I was told. Okay. Um... I forget what the other ones were, but it's, I don't know what the specific thing weed is, day. but yeah, it's weed day. Yeah. Um, I forget. There's a couple different theories of why it's 420, but I forget what they were. Yeah. Here we go. I know one was Hitler's birthday, which makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. To one restaurant, okay, roadside place, that guy gave me Szechuan, <laughs> Szechuan sauce in a mug. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, fans of Indian Chinese make some noise. Yeah. Do you have it while you were there? I Indian love Chinese? Indian Chinese, man. Because Indian Chinese is its own beast. Okay. Maybe. It's neither Indian nor Chinese. <laughs> it's <laughs> like Tex Indian food doesn't have soy. And Chinese food definitely doesn't have dhania powder. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how we as Indian. Indian yes, any cuisine. Want, and in the you fire. Put and gobi in it. Yeah. Have you know, boss. <laughs> Gotcha. Partly the reason why the Chinese are trying to invade our country <laughs> is because they want to find the guy who came up with the idea for Chinese <laughs> <laughs> And there's different kinds of Indian Chinese food, right? There's fancy Indian Chinese, right? And then there's roadside Indian Chinese, right? The way fancy Indian Chinese restaurants come together and name their restaurant is that they play fill in the blanks. It's always dash of China. <laughs> fill whatever you want. Aromas of China, taste of China, spices of China, flavors of China, <laughs> of China. Or they'll do China dash. Fill whatever you want. Usually something architectural, right? China house, China gate, China garden, China kitchen, China pavilion. <laughs> or they'll come up with like quirky names, right? Like this one place near my house, it was called stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really sweet on their part because they're letting you know what body part is going to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> there was another restaurant, okay? It was called Red Ninja. Which is a cool name, right? Except ninjas are fucking the Japanese. Japanese, yeah. <laughs> which is why I love the roadside Chinese restaurants, yeah. Why do I feel like the people who are cheering are all from the suburbs? <laughs> I love roadside Indian Chinese because it's amazingly decadent food filled with gravy, spices and instant regret. <laughs> it is, man. Like, you know, I've, I've never gone past an Indian Chinese restaurant and not gotten intoxicated by that smell. I don't know what drugs they're adding in their masala. But I pass by one that smell comes up like, oh fuck yeah, give me MSG. <laughs> right? They really go ahead and create a vibe, right? Because for example, there's always that one dude who's holding that big wok and he's just tossing the rice. <laughs> he's on it 24-7. They don't even use that rice. That's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
they like to call themselves authentic Chinese. Because nothing says authentic Chinese like Prakash Chinese. <laughs> I like how all the roadside restaurants, you know, the way they name their places is that they come together and, and come up with random racist sounding Chinese words. Wang Wong. <laughs> Chin Chong. <laughs> and if none of them work, then Dragon Chinese. Dragon Chinese, China, yeah. Okay. Dude, have you seen how red their gravy is? No matter what they're cooking, the base is still that red fucking gravy, right? How is your black pepper chicken also <laughs> red in color? You know, they have like 150 items on their menu and about 200 different ways in which they spell the word Shezwan. <laughs> so it's S-E-Z-W-A-N, S-E-C-H-U-A-N. One place I went to, it was written S-A-Y-S-W-A-N. Says one. <laughs> this food is tasty, right? Says who? Says one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they have like 15 different varieties of rice that taste exactly the same. Hong Kong rice, Malaysian rice, Vietnamese rice, Singapore rice. Fun fact, none of these places are China. <laughs> <laughs> they love their says one, man. <laughs> Fucking love it. I went to one restaurant, okay, roadside place. That guy gave me says one. <laughs> says one sauce in a mug. <laughs> Just, I'm like, why? <laughs> Have you noticed that every time they serve you the food, it's always in those weird orangish brown plates and bowls, right? No matter what part of India you go in, it's always that orangish brown bowl plate, right? My theory is, is that when they bought it, it was white. <laughs> But it's years of says one. <laughs> you know, my favorite dish to eat um, at the roadside Indian Chinese place is this dish called chicken chopper rice. <laughs> the whole Andheri peeps, good. <laughs> chicken chopper rice is the answer to the question what if you want all the items on the menu, but in one dish? No, that dish should come with its own hazmat suit. Because if you eat that and you fast, you might be pulled up for biological <laughs> It's the kind of food that makes your stomach call up the other organs the next day and not report for work. Look, appendix, you have to take You have to take a chicken chopper rice. Chicken chopper? Right, but they are really particular about hygiene and cleanliness, right? They always clean their utensils, yes. But at the exact same time that you're eating the food, right? And the process of their cleaning is they take a massive tub, fill it with water, take the plate and just dunk it. I'm like, bro, you've not cleaned my plate, but you've definitely baptized it. <laughs> My plate is now called Chris. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Very funny. Yeah, there's some stuff in there I've never even heard of, though. Like no. Chopper chicken? Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of references that you would have to be living in yeah. India, regularly getting Chinese to but pick up on. I mean, the, the naming of restaurants is similar. Very similar. If you, you know it's probably not a great Chinese restaurant if it's like a Asian or Chinese dragon or... Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's probably not that great. No. If it's just a generic name like that. Just exactly. Like, just like yeah. if it's an Indian restaurant and it's named like Taj Mahal. Yeah. You're like, mm, you know, it's, it's probably not, not that good. Yeah, or a tandoori house. Yeah. I it's, don't know. If you see a bunch of people in there that are just white and just eating food and there's no Indians, you probably have a pretty good guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually, I can say I've eaten Chinese food 
in China. Oh, yeah, you did. I did. It was in the airport, though. It was in the airport, but I was technically, I was in Shanghai, and I ordered Chinese food. It was delicious. Yeah? Oh, it was so... Panda Express? No. (laughs) I couldn't read a thing. (laughs) Couldn't read anything on the menu. Just saw a photo. How'd you order? Pointed to it. Okay. And ordered that. Paid. I had to go in and figure out what the difference was between the yen and the dollar and did it. But whatever it was I ordered, a noodle dish, it was freaking delicious. Oh, nice. It was so good. Um, yeah, it was very funny. Uh, he's, he's funny. He's I funny. love that last one. Yeah. They baptized your dish. And now it's named Chris. Yeah. That's funny. Christian jokes. Yeah. What was this other thing that we reacted to? I don't, it's been a while, so I don't remember what it was we reacted to. Here we go. Indians studying, studying abroad. abroad. Three years yeah. ago. I was going to say, it's been a long time. Three years? Really? Did we like it? Can't imagine we didn't. It's been very rare that we haven't enjoyed a, a stand-up comic. There's sometimes that it's just a bunch of cultural stuff that we just... For the have. most part, yeah. Um, and it's still something that has always intrigued me as a... What's it like to do stand-up comedy? Yeah. It's incredibly, um, it seems incredibly difficult to me. It, it, yeah. Um, there, you're, you're jumping without a parachute. Exactly. You're either going to do well or you are going to do poorly. There is yeah. no middle ground. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about it and what other stand up from him or others that we can react to. Please let us know in the comments and upvote it down below.